Welcome to Hanson Holt. This train is about to depart. Hello everyone, today we are going to show you how to fix traction tyres, these little rubber tyres. Loads of people thought that these things were just so hard to change. Well, my daddy has found out a little hack for this, how to put traction tyres on. Okay. So, yep. let's see. So these are Hornby traction tyres, X9. 722 and this is a mainline uh, class 45 but I've, uh, I've, I've looked up online and apparently these these do fit now I've already changed the traction tires on these wheels uh, didn't do it on camera because it is a fiddly job and it's the first time I've ever done it so wasn't quite sure what I was doing but uh, I can now show you the the technique obviously the easiest thing um, in terms of getting a tire on the wheel is to strip down the bogey completely uh, but that would involve uh, taking the motor apart, and I didn't want to do that. So uh, the, the method I've got is you need a couple of pairs of tweezers like this. I think these are called needle nose tweezers. You just pick the tyre up with one tweezer, and then just push it through, and then pick it with the other tweezer, and then you just fit it onto the wheel, and then stretch it across the circumference of the wheel. It's a bit fiddly, it takes uh, two or three goes Per wheel. Daddy, I hope you've got a bleeping machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I wouldn't need a bleeping machine. You can see there, if you if you just hook that on and move it across, um, you should be able to use the tweezers to just gently stretch it around the circumference of the wheel. These um, mainline wheels are quite good because they've got a groove in them, so it, it, it has got a little lip that will hold onto the tyre. Um, and then once you've got it hooked on, you can just stretch it across from both sides. It will just eventually pop over the wheel. Um, so this, this loco was running pretty well on its own but as soon as we tried to uh, haul some coaches it was really struggling so we're going to see if that makes a difference now. Now this is the 45 after the traction tyre has been changed and actually I've found out that it runs faster with the faster weights on the line as well so it's kind of kind of weird it's kind of weird how that works i don't know how it works but yeah thanks for watching this is after see you in the next video uh probably be a running session great see you in the next video bye for now thanks for watching